laboratory here at SNU, what we are trying to understand is that the, how these toxic heavy metals, particularly mercury, lead, arsenic, they are binding with the biomolecules such as cysteine, glutathione, and the sulfur or selenium containing proteins. As for example, like a methyl mercury is a highly neurotoxic. The reason is that the methyl mercury, when it goes into the body through this food poisoning and it binds to the endogenous thals such as cysteine, glutathione, or sulfur or selenium containing proteins and enzymes. And there are uh, some report is that this methyl mercury goes almost uh, no, five-fold more in the brain compared to the other tissues and that's the reason it's a highly neurotoxic. Now what we are trying to do here, we want to design a molecule which can compete with the biomolecule and capture this you know, heavy metal, toxic heavy metals and convert them from you know, the toxic to the non-toxic or less toxic insoluble materials. So therefore this methyl mercury is a highly you know, soluble and the neurotoxic. So you can convert them to a, say mercury sulfide or mercury selenide which is a biologically inert molecules. So then we can actually and also you know, try to find out the ways how we can you know, remove them from the body. So this is a, our main research that we are doing here. Apart from this mercury, we are also working on how we can detoxify lead and arsenic as well as the copper one.